Hello, today I'd like to talk about standing with the double bass. Um, it gives us great versatility. We can't always take a stool with us and sometimes we want the freedom to be able to stand. So a lot of people ask me how to stand with the bass. Well, the first thing is to get really grounded and to be aware of your balance, moving into both the right side and the left side and also being able to move your balance back in your stance and then onto the balls of your feet and onto your toes. Then I set the base up so it's outside the line of my left foot, feet facing out, and then I lean the double base into me and give it a nice hug. So that enables us to be really stable. And then to find our bowing position, we really want to be just lifting our arm and keeping our shoulder in neutral, so not moving this forward, but keeping this in neutral and then turning around. And of course, because we're at the side of the instrument, we can now move forward onto our toes. So that's our ideal bowing position, move forward onto our toes and then... So with shifting, we want to keep our head going up, keeping our full height. And then we want to move our balance before we shift. And then when we move back, we want to move our balance backwards before we shift down. So from the side, preparing to shift, moving our weight forward, moving weight back. And it just helps us move up the instrument freely. <laughs> If we can keep our balance and maintain our vision, then we'll find we're less likely to be locked with a head like this. Imagine how heavy your head is if it's not in the right place. Developing shifting without looking at the left hand or the bow helps increase our sense of muscle memory and actually helps us feel the spaces more accurately. <laughs> So you can sense the response from the string without looking down. It's more about feel. So it's another advantage of keeping your height.